trying and taxing. Just some of the words used to describe the recent upswing in vacant fires across the city of Toledo. Fox Toledo's Katie Thompson's on assignment with a look at what firefighters are up against. Day after day, it, it, it can be trying. Arsonists have hit homes all over the city in recent weeks. Fire at 14th Street near Manila. Toledo Fire Lieutenant and Spokesman Matthew Hertzfeld says there's been an increase, but not in any one area. The difficulty becomes when there's multiple fires in different parts of the city that taxes the resources, and uh, you have other crews from other areas covering other districts. Safety is also a major concern. The safety aspect comes into play if it's a vacant, especially if the arsonist wants to impede our progress. They'll cut holes in floors, they'll put gas trails, they'll hang garbage bags full of gasoline from the ceiling, those types of things. When they set a fire in the same location, then two days later set another fire, so that begins to weaken the structure. The increased call volume can also present an issue for injuries. As fatigue sets in in the middle of the night, if, they've, if crews have had multiple fires, you know, there is a chance that you could see increased injury, especially in the winter time. It's now a pile of rubble, but Hertzfeld said it's not difficult for arsonists to gain access to vacant buildings like this one, especially when they're not boarded up or secured. People may be tired of seeing that, that dilapidated house, and somebody may feel it, you know, take it upon themselves to, to clear that house. Why people set fires I you know I, I, I could only guess uh, th you know the reasons are for fun for profit uh, just the excitement of it I mean there's a lot of different reasons there's criminal activity involved with it now if you can help authorities catch the people who are setting these vacant fires call Crime Stopper 419-255-1111 reporting in Central Toledo tonight Katie Thompson Fox Toledo News